All right, guys, just uh, going over a few problems I had. I had a bad null in the first row of seats. It dropped down between 10 to 13 dB from the back row. Around, I would say, uh, between like 40 to 55 hertz, somewhere in there. And um, just been playing with a bunch of delay settings for my near field subs to see if I could get rid of that null. Um, again, I did this last time too. I ran a test tone to see what the actual drop was, besides taking the sweep too and actually seeing the graph, how it, how much it dropped down, which was that amount. I did both just to kind of see what I had. So now after playing with the delays in my near field subs, which I'll be changing out very soon, I'm sure you guys all know, I, um, I fixed the null. So here, I'm going to show you, uh, there's 46 is the test tone. Let's do the meter real quick. And I'm going to go over a few things real quick so again last time before I mess with the delays if my back row right here in the center was mic'd right now it's pretty much eh, we'll call it 98 DB so the front row would be God 88 to 85 DB so right now where your head would be first row right there I'm at 98. Look at that. Now, it's in the middle of the room. 99. I'm going to move it to the back. Right there where my head would normally be. 97.678. Just depends where your head is. And then I'm going to move it. It's in the back corner right now. That seat. 99, we'll call it 100 dB. The next seat, 98.5. Next seat, 97.5 or 6. So this seat actually has less space because it's obviously open to everything. And this side is, you know, the, the subs have uh, some boundaries, corner loaded. So I expect that, that back seat to be very hot. That's, that's expected. Um, so for the bass lovers like myself, that that's the cool seat to uh, sit in. But yeah, again, so front row, left seat, 99 dB. Middle row, or front row middle, 98. Let's do that one right there. 97.9. Now I know there's other ways to go about this, and do it everyone's gonna say hey pink noise do it this way let's see the actual charge I'll post the charts later what I had um, I'm trying to basically get a middle ground between the first two rows and try to get them as evenly as possible with REW in this microphone if I could somehow manage to get the front row and the second row within one to two DB I'm happy that's that's good this is a big room it's 31 feet long it's it's uh it's expected to have some nulls and some peaks because it's not treated professionally this room is built by me there's a few things i could have done different but for my budget this was um this was great in my opinion so um yeah i think i'm pretty good you know i'm gonna do some more tweaking some more stuff i still have to get the graph a little bit more uh, flat which I'll do I'll apply the EQ settings to um, all four amps and get that chart flat then I'll I'll do a couple different curves I'll do you know a John Wick curve I'll make it hot and, and then I'll do another one uh, just regular watching movies get a nice response going across so there's my video for the day I'll talk to you guys later